everyone, welcome to Black Hair OMG. My name is Johanna and I'm your OMG expert. And today I'll definitely be removing this wig that I said I was going to remove two weeks ago. And if you want to see how much new growth I have acquired, stay tuned. Okay, so I stitched the wig down, so I had to cut out the threads for removal. This is one month of new growth, approximately one and a half centimeters, which is more growth per month than I would usually get. Ignore the dandruff, I'm working on that. Alright, so now I'm back to myself. Wig is gone and my natural hair is back. Now, before I go, I just want to say that I have been, well, I've always been obsessed with attaining like long hair or trying to get it. And I started last November on that journey. And the first way that I'm gonna use is the Chic Naturals method. I'll leave a link for her video down in the description box down below. Um, the second thing that I'm gonna do, there is something wrong with my scalp. Like I noticed that when my hair or my scalp is dirty or needs washing, um, the follicle well the hair releases from the follicle and it gets like really weak and my hair tends to come out a lot more than it should well it sheds a lot more but someone gave me a remedy for that and I'm not gonna tell you what the remedy is and I'm not gonna tell you who the person is but you can stay tuned um, you can sub if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to black hair on you you will want to subscribe because in the future there's something that I'm gonna do that a person told me to do that would help me to achieve longer hair because she did it and it worked right it makes total it makes a lot of sense the third thing that I'm gonna do I need to figure out this whole thing about the stages that hair grows in now hair grows in three stages there's the anagen, the catagen, and the telogen. Now, the anagen stage is the initial stage of developing the hair. Now, hair develops through the amount of blood that flows into the follicle. Now, it creates keratin. And if you know anything about keratin, if you ever heard about keratin in your lifetime, keratin is basically your hair your hair strand because your hair strand is made up of keratin. Now why massaging your scalp allows your hair to grow faster or grow back if that spot is bald is because the more blood that goes into your follicles the more keratin you have therefore your hair will grow faster and longer. Now the first stage of your hair takes two to six years to grow. I believe that because I've tested that before way before I became um, interested in natural hair i noticed that my hair takes three years to grow after three years my hair stops growing it's not your hair stops growing but the length of my hair stops going past a certain you know length i should say so your hair is always growing but in the anagen stage hair grows two to six years now I finally figured out why a certain ethnic background would hair is capable of growing longer or being longer I should say than another ethnic background so let's use Caucasian and uh, African race so the African race hair probably can only grow for like three to four years and then like the Caucasian race well two to three or four years and then the Caucasian race their hair can grow for up to five or six years why is that I've been watching a few videos and trying to read a few articles on it they have not come up with the solution for that or the answer for that as yet if you happen to have a clue as to why um, a Caucasian person's hair can grow for more years than a black person's hair feel free in commenting down below I'm still yet to figure that out so basically what you need to do is cheat the anagen stage so the more keratin that you get in your follicles or the more blood that you get in your follicles to create keratin which is the actual hair that's the cheat you need to find out how to cheat that now the first way that I found out how to cheat that is massaging your scalp now the cheek the chic natural actually confirmed that because her hair just couldn't grow past a certain length until she started doing these things and one of the things that she started doing is was massaging her scalp so by massaging your scalp you get more blood to flow and come into your follicles therefore you get more keratinites therefore you get more keratin therefore you get more hair 
so that's the first stage so after let's say, use myself for an example so let's say after three years that hair strand stops growing so after it stops growing it takes about a week to a month I think to release itself from the follicles so now the hair is independent it's thriving on its own the hair has not come out of your scalp or your follicle yet well it's it released itself from the follicle it's still in the tunnel where the follicle grows now while the hair is in that tunnel the process between it being released from follicle and being pushed to the top is the second stage which is the catagen stage now that stage takes about it takes a few weeks I think it's one week they say or two weeks or something like that but it's not more than a month right so after that stage has ended you fall into the third stage which is the resting stage or the telogen stage now that stage lasts for two to four months now after two to four months have passed the hair sheds so that's it hair grows in three stages and starts a cycle all over again so for people who like to say my hair is not growing everybody's hair grows it's just that our hair reacts differently in the anagen catagen and the telogen stage which would determine how long your hair can grow or why it would come out a certain way or why it would fall out from the follicle now I totally figured out why my hair is coming out from the follicle before it's time and uh, if you want to find out how I'm gonna fix that problem achieving longer hair and you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to black hair OMG this is the time to hit that subscribe but then you know the anagen stage like massaging your scalp and getting the blood flowing and so forth and getting more blood into your follicles really does help and I'm going to the proof is in the pudding I'm gonna show you something right now in in December I had a crochet style in and I took that style out late December real close to Christmas Day and in doing so I cut my hair out literally like I didn't cut some of it off I cut all of it out so I'm going to let this plat out and I'm going to show you how rapid my hair grew within the past two months of having cut a patch out of my hair and that spot it wasn't completely bald but it was bald enough to look boy cut I even had to use like when I was styling my hair like doing an updo or something I had to use gel or um, I don't know if you guys noticed one of the videos that I did one of the videos that I did I did like a little thing to the side where I was trying to conceal it hide it I don't know if you noticed but I'm gonna link that video down below and show you but let me zoom up here to just show you how much my hair has grown within the past two months So this is the patch. I think I zoomed in a bit too much. This is the patch. I don't want to lie, but I'm going to take out exactly what I cut out. This is the patch, guys. Look at this. I was... Let me get a scissors. I was cutting the crochet out, and I don't know how I managed to just cut my hair out like literally I cut all of it out and it was this patch and I can tell you that because it was so hard to style my hair I had to like use gel to like make it lie down and then I had to tie it down until the gel dried you know literally for it to stay on for it to be less noticeable that I had a patch there but I had a boy cut in this area now look at this I did this this boy cut it was in December so if you if you notice the shorter part of the hair where you can see here the shorter part of the strands I had absolutely no hair there it was bald there was no hair and then this section was really short um, could hardly be styled and so forth so you're looking at two months uh, I would say exactly two months or two months or a little days of hair growth let's leave out a little section that is here and this is two months of hair growth now what I've been doing is well mostly is massaging my scalp but I haven't even been remembering to do that every day but I have been doing it 
and I see where the chic naturals method with the whole massage thing and eating healthier drinking tons of water and stuff has really been working it's including protective hairstyles over manipulating your hair can really stunt your hair growth or slow down your, your hair growth process or I shouldn't say hair growth I should say length retention process I have some stuff and some tricks up my sleeve and then you know the subscribers are so wonderful when we post videos here they just comment and give you such good advice and I'm so blessed I'm not gonna tell you who the person is and I'm not gonna mention the name of the subscriber until I release the video I don't know why I'm gonna release the video because I need to get the stuff to do this and I'll tell you what she told me and how it worked for her and I'm going to tell you exactly how I plan on getting rid of this awful dandruff that um, plagues me and uh, prevents my hair from growing longer now I did a video about my hair and what I do with it after I wash it how I prepare it for being stretched and for styling and so forth you will want to check that video out it's gonna be uploaded after this video now I hope that this video was helpful to you I am very very curious in knowing what you know about black hair and growing it longer I'm really curious I like learning and I like when the subscribers comment down below and just letting me know what they think even if they don't like the video I still appreciate um, the comments as long as they're good criticism don't leave without joining us on social media we are on Instagram IG everything we're there <laughs> so um, I'll see you the next one bye